we get Aspinall and Miocic in the ring together? How do we do that, guys? There, there seems to not be a question that the world would like to see that fight. That has never been confirmed by the promotion. All that has ever been said by the promotion would actually lead you to believe that that's not a fight that they're interested in. But all of the comments that were made by the promotion that would lead you to believe that's the fight they're not interested in were made prior to Tom starching Pavlich at Madison Square Garden in front of the world with all the media in attendance. Oh, and by the way, doing it in the first round. Like everything changed in that moment. And it didn't just change for us. I believe Stipe himself, I believe Stipe himself had a different respect. You know, they had a camera on Stipe. Sometimes I take for granted that you guys saw this. Perhaps you didn't. They got a camera on Stipe. Watching him watch the fight. He's got no microphone on, just, just a camera on him. And when the knockout took place, Stipe was very respectful. I believe he said the word, wow. I believe he you know, stood up and, and, and good job to both of them. Right? It, was, it was one of these moments where it felt at least like things changed. And I'm asking you this, guys, because again, to go with the information that the promotion had given us, but they gave it prior to that moment. It would be disrespectful to offer Stipe an interim championship fight. And we stopped right there. We didn't say against and then add an opponent. Like it could be a, a very compelling opponent. All that was said is that just making the call, even offering Stipe in an interim fight was not a thought that they had because they thought it'd be rude. And Stipe went and confirmed that. I believe it was with Errol Hawani. And he said, well, I don't know what I would have said, but I can let you know I said nothing because I was not asked. And it would seem to me that maybe we do need to ask him now. And it's still an interim fight. But the other option is that Stipe wait until the return of John Jones. Now, Stipe has demonstrated patience before. Like, that might not be anything that's on his mind. And when I follow the golden rule of put myself in somebody else's shoes, how would I react? How would I want to be treated? When I follow that golden rule, it's very tough to get into the mindset of Stipe because I never had that level of success. Like, to, to be a world champion or to do certain things was a very different driver for me. Stipe's been world champion. He's done certain things. So it's just, it's one of these spots. I, I've also believed what has been said that Stipe was going to retire. It was said about the fight with Stipe and John Jones that it's, they're both going to retire. And I don't believe any part of that was true for John, ever. I do believe that could have been true for Stipe. And I do believe if Stipe has made that decision, then simultaneous to that decision is one more, not championship, not John Jones, one more. So which direction does he want to fire that bullet? Does he have an opportunity to re-motivate himself? Get through Tom, then go to John. Does he have that ability and that motivation? Like that would be something that's very intrinsic to Stipe. That one, he does not owe us an answer to, but two, he might not be comfortable giving us an answer. And I feel as though... Stipe has the power to do both. I think he'll only choose one, but I feel as though Stipe has the power. And power in this sport, specifically this company, is generally just a word. But every now and then it's so. I believe Stipe has the power to say, I'm going to wait, I'm going to wait for John. When John comes back, he will be champion. I will fight him for that championship. And then I will say goodbye to you all. That is not an option that most guys could get. That is not something that most guys could reveal and then have a favor done for them. But I believe Stipe can. I also believe Stipe can come out publicly and or privately through a phone call right to Dana. Say, give me Aspinall. I don't want to wait. I think he could be more specific and say, give me Aspinall as a main event. Or that we main event him. I think he could be more specific and say, if you commit to giving me a title shot against Aspinall, 
I'll do it in a main event of 300. And I think they would say yes. I believe that Stipe has the respect, I'm using the word power, to do either. And I wouldn't challenge him. If he truly does just have one more in him and he wants to use that one against John and he's got the patience to train and stay in shape and do whatever it takes, because that's a great mystery, guys. We don't really know where John's at. John happened to be filming the day that he got hurt. He just happened, he happened to be filming. You guys remember that wrestling? He had this great big guy, and he, he was picking him up. So he put that out. So we knew a little bit about the injury, and then he went under the knife, did that pretty quick, and he let us know that that was done. But we don't have a lot more on that. Somebody said one time, and we've all just taken it, myself included, that it would be eight to ten months. But when a guy says eight to ten months, that, that's also unclear as well. When I heard eight to ten months, I thought that meant until he's back. But I don't mean back in the octagon. That meant just back, he's held, and then he can go into training camp to then get ready to get into the octagon. And while you might think that's a, a small detail or clarity, how long do you give a guy? I mean, if he does sit out for ten months, it's going to take a little bit more to get back into shape, let alone championship shape. Or is the injury a four-month thing and the eight months was with the recovery in the training camp? Right? I'm just saying, like, we don't have a massive amount of information on that. The reason it's so relevant and it's so important is what are you going to do with Aspinall in between? And I think there's a few really interesting matches for Stipe. I think the Sergi Pavlich Stipe, I, I don't mean to Dave, I thought that was, I'd have been very interested in that. Aspinall versus Stipe, I'd be very interested in that. Surreal Gone versus Stipe, I would be very interested in that. I can remove Sergi from probability, because he doesn't have the belt, I can remove Surreal from probability because he does not have a belt. And so then that would bring you back to Tom and Stipe. But if Tom had the ultimate goal of John Jones, personally knowing he's only got one more in the chamber, then it would take away our ability to say, go in with Aspinall, defeat him, and then go into Jones. Like, it would take that ability away. As you work through the different math, you do come back to the end of, well, if Stipe has said power, and John doesn't have a say in this at all because he's hurt. It's not a matter that John's going to fight someone else or not fight a certain guy. He's going to fight nobody, right? So you got these two guys over here. What would you do with Aspinall? Where would that go? And Surreal Gone is not as obvious of an answer as some of you think it is. That is a very good checkers move. It might be the move that you have to play because it's the only card that you have to play. But if you're creating an interim champion, which means he could be elevated to undisputed champion or he could compete with your undisputed champion, you would be putting us all in a situation to have Surreal versus Jones again. And you don't want Surreal versus Jones again. You have a bad taste in your mouth from the first time. But Surreal versus Aspinall would at least potentially open a door where you would be forced to do Jones versus Surreal again. And that is going to be avoided at least for a period of time at all costs. So the equation's not quite as simple as you think. But if I am right, and Stipe does have the power to go one of two directions, I just suggest that instead of finding that disrespectful, I think you might want to test that. And you might just want to ask the champ what he thinks.